الحال Welcome to learn Arabic online with Lubna de Mayan. It is the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting. You were born with the ability to change someone's life. Don't waste it. It is every man's obligation to put back into the world at least the equivalent of what he takes out of it, which is a lot. Give yourself permission to be happy every day, if you can. Possibility, ability, obligation, permission are notions to be expressed by means of modal auxiliary verbs or modals can, may, might, must, should, would Arabic does not have exact equivalence of these verbs but it has words and phrases that are used in much the same way to underline an obligation in a sentence we employ the expression يجب أن from the verb وجب have to must be obligatory plus أن followed by a verb in the imperfect subjunctive يجب أن أذهب the verb ذهب conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive with the sign of فتحة in its end and from this conjugated verb you will find out the subjects since يجب is impersonal mostly conjugated in the third person singular masculine so don't try to find the subject in, in the verb wajaba or yajibu. Alright? So, yajibu an adhaba, I must go. Or, it is necessary for me to go. Another expression, which is rare. Mostly we have yajibu an. Now, wajaba alayhi an to be one's duty to be imposed in the first sense wajaba is impersonal it does not take a personal subject the person of whom someone is necessary is given as the object of ala or as the subject of the verb in the clause introduced by the subjunctive particle and so here wajaba alayhi an wajaba ala plus the object pronoun here referring to him third person singular masculine plus the particle n so here to attach this pronoun to the preposition ala we have to convert this shortened alif to a ya since it will be followed by another letter alayya with sukun wajaba alayhi and then we attach the pronoun suffix he وجب عليه أن he had to and you finish the sentence ينبغي أن أذهب so I should go from the verb ينبغى be required be unavoidable this is another possible choice so you, you have يجب أن أذهب ينبغي أن أذهب 
But يجبو أن أذهب is stronger. That's why I said I must go. ينبغي أن you may say I should go. يجبو على plus object pronoun plus أن plus subjunctive is our formula. يجب علي أن أذهب. So here, علي على plus the pronoun يا referring to the first person singular me علي. So this shortened ألف ألف مقصورة will turn to a yes. So would have two yes. Resulting in علي. So we will mark the ya with a, an emphasis sign. Shadda alayya. Referring to a double ya. Yajibu alayya an adhaba. I have to go. So from alayya, you would understand that I am referring to myself. Yajibu alla tudakhina. Tudakhina from the verb dakhana to smoke. In the imperfect subjunctive, addressing the second person singular, masculine. To dakhina, alla alla is a con contraction. It is when we want to negate an. So it is an plus la, an plus la would be written as alla. So we get the hamza of an plus la with an emphasis sign. Alla. So this is a, uh, the negation of an. An la. Alla. Yajibu alla to dakhina. You must not smoke. Yajibu alayna. تفريغ الحقائب يجب علينا So we, you will check the preposition together with the attached object pronoun which is نا referring to the first person plural we نحن يجب علينا So we have to يجب علينا means we have to تفريغ الحقائب تفريغ we have to unpack so يجب علينا followed by تفريغ تفريغ is a noun تفريغ الحقائب we have an إضافة construction in here تفريغ الحقائب so we have to unpack the suit cases or you may use the active participle of the verb وجبا تفريغ الحقائب واجب علينا. So واجب is the active participle of وجبة, which does the job of its verb. Alright. يجب عليك. See, from يجب we don't understand the subject, but from عليك. عليك I'm addressing the second person. Singular masculine, which is you. يجب عليك البقاء في السرير. So you have to stay. In English, since we have, we are using have to, it has to be followed by an infinitive. So البقاء, staying. So you have to stay in bed. البقاء في السرير. السرير, السرير means bed. كان من الواجب على Here we have كان The verb to be conjugated in the past كان We are referring to the past Plus pronoun Alright Plus pronoun Referring to the subject Plus N The particle N Plus subjunctive Imperfect subjunctive. كان 
من الواجب عليك أن So this is our phrase كان من الواجب عليك أن To ساعد from the verb ساعد to help conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive To ساعد addressing the second person singular masculine أنت And the فتحة is the sign of this mood The subjunctive mood صديقك في دراسته دراسته which means you should have helped you should have helped your friend with his study في دراسته with his study he his his study so here the expression كان من الواجب على كان من الواجب عليك أن you should have helped your friend with his study من الضروري أن من الضروري أن من الضروري أن it is necessary to من الضروري أن نحصل على حصل على means to get حصل على حصل has to be followed by the preposition على to complete the meaning أن نحصل نحصل نا referring to the first person plural conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive with the sign of فتحة in the end أن نحصل على ثماني ساعات من النومي. So here it is necessary من الضروري أن to get أن نحصل eight hours of sleep ثماني ساعات إضافة construction first term second term eight hours of sleep and no sleep. So ضروري is a relative adjective which is referred to in Arabic as نسبة composed of ضرورة the noun ضرورة necessity plus the ya with the emphasis sign ضروري ضروري referring to the to ضرورة necessity here we have another expression كما يجب أن يكون كما as it should be you may use it this way كما يجب أن يكون as it should be أن يكون should be من المفروض أن or من الواجب أن or من اللازم أن so من المفروض أن supposed to من الواجب أن have to من اللازم أن required to so we have the verb فرض مفروض فرض مفروض is the passive participle of فرض فرض to impose and the verb لازم وجب لازم لازم وجب واجب active participles be necessary be mandatory لا بد من حضورك لا بد you must this is another expression لا بد من حضورك you must come حضور coming and the car referring to second person singular masculine لا بد من it has to be followed by من لا بد من بد بد means alternative choice option but when it is negated by la means 
no options and no choices, no alternatives, but you coming. Alright? So, la buddha min means must. You don't have any other choice but coming. The modal auxiliary verb can is most often used to express a person's or thing's ability. To do something by saying, I've got the power. <laughs> Ask for permission to do something. To describe the possibility that something can happen. And to issue requests and offers. Can has many equivalents in Arabic depending on the context it is overwhelming even myself I don't know all of them I keep learning <laughs> even if I am a native speaker that's amazing such an interesting language I fall in love with it every time I study referring to ability the verb qadara ala will be using a lot of prepositions, especially ala. Qadara ala. To be able to do something with qadir. Qadir is the active participle of qadara. And qudra is the verbal noun, power, capacity can be used for this purpose. أنت قادر على قادر على Even when you use the active participle, you have to use the preposition على أنت قادر على تحقيق أحلامك You can realize or achieve your dreams so تحقيق achieve أحلامك your dreams ka, referring to your dreams أحلام أحلام dreams so here we have used the active participle of the verb قادر قادر على أنت قادر على قادر على الصعود إلى الجبل. He was able. So he was able to climb the mountain. So قدر the verb قدر is related to ability. تمكن من تمكن من to be able to. This is another expression to use instead of قدر على قدر على or تمكن من تمكن has to be followed by the preposition من the verb is تطاع form 10 to be able or can followed by a noun or a verbal noun in the accusative or by an and the subjunctive. أستطيع أن أدرس The verb درس To teach Conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive Because it is followed by the particle أن Or I may use the verbal noun If you don't know how to conjugate that verb in the imperfect subjunctive And you know it's verbal noun Just cheat and use the Verbal noun. أستطيع التدريس Which means I can teach. You may render both of them with the sentence I can teach. تستطيع الشركة رفع رفع To raise. رفع is the verbal noun in the accusative. Or أن ترفع مستوى 
Intejiha means the company, a sharika, the company can or is able to raise its production level. Production, intej production, but ha referring to the company because we always need a resumptive pronoun. Mustawa. Level. It's production. It's production. Level. Rafa or antarfa. Your choice. With possibility or ability, notion, the verb amkana. Form 4. To be possible for someone or may. Followed by an and the. Subjective, here we go. Great. The active participle is mumkin, possible. And the verbal noun is imkan, possibility. Or ability. Al ma'zira, pardon me, or excuse me, or sorry. Al ma'zira, atasa'alu, iza yumkinu. أن يمكن أن alright تساعدنا here تساعدنا تساعد is the verb ساعد to help conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive addressing second person singular masculine أنت from the conjugation تساعدنا the object pronoun referring to us so Pardon me, Al-Ma'adira. I am wondering. Atasa'alu. Atasa'alu. Tasa'ala. To wonder. Tasa'ala. I'm wondering if Yunkinu an. I'm wondering if. Ida stands for if. You can help us. I'm wondering if you can so this stands for can you can you can help us the subject is in the conjugation you can help us all right yumkinu an yasila yawma al jumuati Yumkinu an. Here yumkinu is conjugated in the imperfect indicative, third person singular masculine. But it doesn't mean that um, you will understand the subject from this conjugation. You will have to check the verb following the particle an. Yasela. From the verb wasala, to arrive. Yasila, huwa, he, the third person singular masculine in the imperfect subject, subjunctive. Yawma al jumuati, yawma al jumua means Friday. Here, for Friday, we use a compound expression. Yawm means day, al jumua Friday. So we have an idafa construction. Yawma al jumuati, he may. So, yumkinu an refers to may. You are never limited with translation. All right? You have too many options. Or it is possible that he arrives on Friday. Or he may arrive on Friday. All right? Here, yumkinu an to marry some arriada. Where is the subject? Let's check the verb to marry from the verb marasa marasa to exercise, to play sports, to work out. Arriada, sports. So here, to marry referring to second person singular masculine, anta. So here, 
you can exercise or you can play sports all right or you can work out minal mumkini an all these expressions you have to memorize them as they are don't try to split them don't try to translate word for word they come as blocks so memorize them the way they are min al mumkini an naltaqiya bi asdiqai al madrasati fi hadha al matami naltaqiya from the verb iltaqa to run into or to meet the subject is the first person plural nahnu naltaqiya nahnu first person plural we and the fatha is the sign of the imperfect subjunctive it is possible min al mumkini an it is possible to run into here in the english translation we didn't need to refer to any subject so if you don't find the subject in the sentence it would be fine because in english we in here in this case we didn't need to know about the subject you say just it is possible to run into because we're using the infinitive of the verb iltaqa to run into school friends school friends uh, at this restaurant at this restaurant iltaqa bi iltaqa is followed by the preposition bi iltaqa bi asdiqa al madrasa here we have a, a genitive construction idafa asdiqa i al madrasati school friends permission reflects another meaning of may يمكنك أن تستعير القاموس متى شئت. This time we have attached the object pronoun to the verb يمكن. So we may find out the subjects from this object pronoun and from the the verb this verb the one that comes after the particle n. So يمكنك أن you can. We already know the subject. Tastaira from the verb istaara to borrow. Tastaira al kamusa metashita. You can borrow um, the dictionary whenever you want. Meta shita. Whenever meta shita. Whenever you want. All right. Um, may I help you? How do we say this in Arabic? May I help you? Hal, since we are asking a question. Hal yumkinu ni. So we have yumkinu plus the suffix ni, referring to myself. Ni, here referring to the second person. Singular masculine ka. So you hal yumkinu ni an usaidaka. Or hal yumkinu ni if we want to use the verbal noun of this verb. So we would say hal yumkinu ni musaadata ka. So both referring to may I help you. Hal yumkinu ni musaadata ka. May I speak if they keep interrupting you or if they don't give you uh, a word? So you say, come on, may I speak? So how would we say this in Arabic? Hal, again, hal, since this is a question. Hal li, this is easier and shorter, just with two letters instead of 
using يمكنه using the verb أمكن in the imperfect هل لي أن أتحدث may I speak alright from the verb تحدث to speak there are different ways to ask the question do I have permission to come in or may I come in in Arabic okay هل لي using just a short version uh, هل لي أن أدخل the verb دخل conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive first person singular هل لي أن أدخل may I come in alright هل يمكنني it's يمكن أمكن conjugated in the imperfect indicative the classical one plus ني the, the suffix ني referring to myself um, هل يمكنني الدخول الدخول دخول is the verb noun of دخل or هل يمكنني أن أدخل it's your choice أتأذنوا ah, the همزة is another form of uh, questioning a instead of هل a تأذنوا لي بالدخول alright so أذن لي أذن لي to permit to allow هل أتأذنوا لي بالدخول or هل أستطيع الدخول the verb استطاع from the so uh, from the verb استطاع so we said that أذنا it's give permission to alright and you may wear a hint of a smile and nod so you can come in or be rude and say no لا you can negate these verbs by the introduction of the particle of negation لا here لا يمكنك أن تعزف موسيقى صاخبة في منتصف الليل so if I remove لا we would have an affirmative uh, sentence when we introduce the particle of negation لا we don't change anything we just negate it with لا لا يمكنك أن تعزف موسيقى صاخبة في منتصف الليل you can't play loud music loud music music موسيقى loud صاخبة and صاخبة is singular feminine because موسيقى is a singular feminine noun in the middle of the night in the middle في منتصف in the middle of the night في منتصف الليل الليل night means light night لا يصح أن from the verb صح to be right لا يصح أن it's not a right to and you finish the sentence لا يجوز لك أن from the verb جاز جاز be allowed be permitted be permissible so لا يجوز لك أن or لا يجوز أن it's not permitted or لا يجوز لك أن you are not allowed to do something whatever illegal or whatever I don't know more possibilities to consider models representing possibility or doubts are part of what is known as epistemic modality which expresses a speaker's judgment regarding the veracity and or certainty of a statement note that might the past form of may insinuates probability but when referring to permission the past is rendered by was were allowed or permitted for instance 
she might use the car of the company. Yumkinuha ha referring to her. Third person singular feminine. Yumkinuha an tastahdima from the verb is to use or to employ. Sayarata a shirikati. So she might use the car of the car. Sayara car of the company. A sharika company. Sayara car. She was allowed or permitted to use the car of the company. So how would we say this in Arabic? She was allowed. Laqad sumiha laha an samaha li to permit. Laqad jaza laha an jaza li again to allow to permit. Laqad udina laha an adina li to permit. So laqad sumiha laha sumiha is in the passive form. Sumiha u e a sumiha. This is one expression. Laqad sumiha li plus the object's pronoun plus n or laqad udina li plus object's pronoun plus n be allowed or permitted to do something so you can use these expressions English epistemic modality can be rendered in a variety of ways in Arabic it is possible to min al mumkini n Mina al mumkini an plus subjunctive. Yumkinu an yumkinu an plus subjunctive. Might or may. From the verb amkana to be possible. Yejuzu an plus subjunctive. May be or might be. من الجائز أن جائز the active participle of جاز to be allowable or possible من المحتمل أن it is possible that from the verb احتمل to be possible to be probable likely it's roughly equivalent to English there is a good chance that and you continue your sentence. Rajjaha. Consider more probable. Min al murajjahi an. So you use the preposition min al murajjahi an. Tawakka'a. Anticipate. Expect. Min al mutawakka'i an. It is expected to. In Tadara, in tadara, anticipate, expect. Min al muntadari an. It is expected that dot dot dot. So these are all passive participles preceded by the preposition min and followed by the particle an. And the act, the passive participle is between. The two. So you may use these expressions. May not and might not are rendered in English as follows. He may not accept the job. قد لا يقبل العمل. قد لا. قد لا. May not. Followed by. Uh, imperfect indicative. Here we don't need to use the mood of uh, subjunctive. قد لا يقبل العمل. She may not have gone to her country last year. You may use ربما لم تذهب إلى بلادها في العام الماضي. ربما لم Tazhab lam is followed by the imperfect in the 
جاسيف مود with the سكون in the end لم تذهب ربما لم you can use this expression to render may not it may not rain this afternoon ربما لن تمطر بعد ظهر اليوم so you have ربما لن plus the subjunctive from the verb أمطر to rain ربما لن تمطر بعد ظهر اليوم afternoon بعد ظهر اليوم things might not improve unfortunately قد لا قد لا تتحسن الأمور تحسن to improve so might not not قد لا might not تتحسن imperfect indicative the classical imperfect عسى أن plus subjunctive or عسى أن plus noun or pronoun meaning it could be that or hopefully or perhaps or may be من المتوقع أن تمطر اليوم it is expected to rain today من المسموح أن تدخن في هذه المنطقة مسموح مفعول past participle of the verb سمح to permit to allow so من المسموح أن it is permitted or allowed to smoke and to dakhina in this designated area in this في هذه المنطقة المخصصة المنطقة أعرية المخصصة designated من المستحيل إقناعي بعكس ذلك من المستحيل it is impossible to إقناعي to convince إقناع أقنع to convince to convince me otherwise بعكس ذلك otherwise from the verb استحالة استحالة to be impossible مستحيل impossible من غير الممكن أن تكون جادا بخصوص هذه القواعد what am I saying من غير الممكن أن it is impossible to أن تكون جادا it is impossible to be serious about these rules بخصوص about بخصوص هذه القواعد these rules على or لعل so you may or may not prefix the على على or لعل with the lam but mostly with here لعل used to say that something um something may happen or may be true but you're not sure it is possible or maybe the noun following la'alla is in the accusative careful with that la'alla al-musafira wasilun hada al-masa wasil is the active participle of wasala to arrive the traveler al-musafir the traveler may la'alla may may arrive 
This evening هذا المساء لعل المسافرة واصل هذا المساء The traveler may arrive this evening لعلهم غيروا آراءهم لعل Here we have attached the pronoun هم to لعل Alright لعلهم غيروا آراءهم This time we will render لعل with maybe And whom is referring to the subject? Maybe they changed their minds. So غيّرَ means to change. غيّرُ changed the آراءهم their minds. Maybe they changed their minds. ربما ربما means perhaps, maybe, probably, possibly. Is also used to indicate a possibility. ربما سأنتظر حتى تكون في مزاج أفضل. ربما maybe. سأنتظر. I will wait. انتظر to wait. سأنتظر conjugated in the future because of the prefix س. س. Plus the verb in the imperfect indicative equals the future. I will wait until Hatta You are Takuna in a better mood. Mood Mizaj Afdal better elative Afdal better elative adjective. It can be used with a perfect verb implying present meaning. For example, ربما سافر إلى لبنان. He may travel to Lebanon. So ربما plus the perfect of the verb سافر. سافر. Life is a school of probability, and the probability of success is I want zero percent. I can't. Ten percent. I don't know how. Twenty percent. I wish I could. Thirty percent. I want to. Forty percent. I think I might. Fifty percent. I might. Sixty percent. I think I can 70%. I can 80%. I am 90%. I did 100%. Congratulations. Happy learning, everybody. Goodbye.